Alrighty, folks, so what is going on? Going back in with some more duels and some more vampires because we ended on vampires and we're gonna we're gonna definitely start with some vampires. And so as you can see here, we open up pretty decent. Uh, we're playing against a non-extra deck deck. So that means that um he's most likely not gonna be playing hand traps. So this hand is fantastic. What I can do is definitely have to discard the brood here. Brood is gonna get me familiar. Familiar is going to then get me a shadow vampire because we do have the territory and territory can get me where I actually want to be so with that being said what I can do is activate um, territory tribute summon the vampire yeah 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 so we're gonna send we're playing the non you know what I want to send traps I want to send traps but I don't know if that is the correct play we'll see though we'll see we're gonna tribute over that Get the Shadow Vampire. Vampire is going to trigger. We're going to then special summon Vampire Grace because eventually she's going to come up. Um, and uh, we can always search um, the other guy. Um, so let's hear, let's see, let's see spells because every deck plays spells. Um, you know, some decks don't play traps. So um, yeah, we're going to see spells. Okay, we're playing against True Dracos. That's completely fine. Um, and uh, she is not a hard once per turn, so that's cool with us. Let's go ahead and go Vampire Sucker. And then for free, we can do is get this brood back by ditching Varen. So we get to draw a card and we get to pay 500. And here, what we're going to search, um, I don't think Vampire's Domination is that good, but I feel like we should just get it just in case. You never know. Um, all right, we drew a vampire duke. Now that's cool. We can go into a summon sorceress, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna go into a summon sorceress. Bam, we can target this to get, uh, we can actually, we could have gave him the uh, goblin zombie because, no, we already committed our normal summon, correct? Yeah, so that's not gonna help us out in any of its fashion, shape, or form. So what we can do with this is go, we can get Gozuki and then hmm we could special summon duke and then with this trigger from the graveyard correct i don't know why i keep wait what oh yeah this does trigger all right so then we can special summon this and send more spells to his graveyard hmm that is something that we can definitely do um but i kind of want to go beatrice right now i don't think there's actually a way to go beatrice so let's target this um, and then what we can do, let's so say we can get Mizuki. I think Mizuki might be the best thing to do here. Cause that's a way we can go Beatrice. So yeah, we're gonna go, no, we're not gonna summon to our opponent's side of the field. We're gonna go this, then we're gonna go Omega. Um, bam, that triggers. And then what we can do here is use, uh, what's the name to bring back the Baron. Baron within trigger. I mean grace within trigger special summoning herself And then what we can do with grace once again, we can send a net actually we can start sending traps to the graveyard Because they don't have that many traps now that we know what deck he's playing. They don't have that many traps um, I believe they only have uh, I think yeah, one of them is at one. No, no, no all the traps are at three But they only play like six traps. I actually they could play Imperial order and all that extra shit So that may be a problem that mean, okay, yeah, rivalry of warlords and shit. Okay, so that means he already has another one in his hand because you wouldn't just reveal that information for no reason. Um, let's go straight into a Beatrice. Now, see, this is where it gets a little tricky. What I can do here is definitely discard a Mizuki. Can discard a Mizuki to send another. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to send Mizuki for right now. Um because like i said we do have an omega and we also have another uh what's the name for next turn and putting this back on the field once again gives me another uh trap to send to his graveyard i want to get as much traps as i can out of his deck so i do have this domination so if he does go diagram or something we could just definitely get rid of so we do have two basically three negations here he's sending imperial order that's completely fine now we can technically still go skull deep but i feel like that's just a bad play so here what we're going to do is just we're going to activate this Omega and go ahead and put us back a Mizuki. Worst case scenario. Oh, what does he have? A twin twister? Impermanence? There's no way you play impermanence. I was about to say, you don't play impermanence. Stop it. 
Um, all right. So next turn, we definitely have a double summon um, that we can trigger. Yeah, we have Duke as well. Like we can definitely get out of these situations if we really wanted to. Like if we really wanted to, we can definitely get out of these situations. That's fine. I think Terraforming is fine. He's going to get a diagram, but once he sets, I think then that's where the problem lies. If he sets, we might we might be in a bit of trouble here. All right, diagram is fine, but once he sets, we have to use um, Omega. We just have to shotgun the Omega if he sets a card. He does not set a card. I don't know where he get. I don't know what he's doing now. This is where it gets a little crazy. And this one he protected from battle. Okay, all right, there you go. Cause I always get that confused. I always get diagram. I don't know why he thought I was about to. What? Why do you play summon limit? I suppose. I suppose, folks. Um. Once again, this is all fine. Uh, we're gonna either. Oh, okay. There goes the pot of Dwali. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a card of demise because oh, why not? Um. Oh no, he has a Monarchs erupt, which is. All right, he's getting an apocalypse. All right, so how much traps does he play in this damn deck? I know he's triple, double terraforming, triple diagram, so that's five. Um, triple of oh, wait, oh, or no, that's fine. That's completely fine because I believe it's the trap. Ooh, now that that fucking sucks. Um, I just, who shit. Um. Fuck, that actually hurts. That's it's actually a bitch. Um, well, you know, no, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him do it because that means he doesn't tribute a trap. That's exactly okay. That's fine. That's completely fine because I can bait it out with this and then I can just negate it with domination. Um, 100% sure that's what he's gonna do. He might have a card of demise in his hand. So, what is he attacking? Tax summons sorceress. I believe that's fine. Yeah, I'll let that go. I'll let a summon sorcerer fly. No, actually, let a summon sorcerer fly. Um, he sets another one. I'm waiting for that card of demise, boy. I'm waiting for that fucking card of demise. They always have it when I play them, so I'm waiting. You're not. I, I, I'll wait to your end phase. Oh, you think, oh, that's beautiful. All right, so in phase, what we can do here is go ahead and send Baron, and then I can just I'm a domination the shit out of him. If he decides he wants to use the effect, which I'm pretty sure he's not going to do because he don't have domination set. If he, he knows I have domination set, he most likely would not. Oh, he is going to do it. That is not a smart play, young man. You know what I have set. There's nothing you have in response to so stop. Um, there we go. So now what we do here is send Gozuki because then Gozuki will then trigger. We can banish a shadow vampire because we don't need him. And we can special summon the goblin zombie. Um, and then now that's what's going to get. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right. So here you also have another Mizuki. And, oh, wait, we can just wait. What is that going to do? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to sh attempt to shuffle back his what's the name, his shuffle back his monster in his graveyard. So we can force out the other trap that he might have. The one that special summons. If we can force that out, we know we know everything he has back there which is completely fine. So we can force this out right now. If he special summons it once again, it's completely fine because we can, um, we can't tribute over it now, but you know, we're going to, there's no way he's going to be able to beat us. Cause that comes out in defense. And then the only one we have to worry about is the, uh, the one that pops monsters. So let's see what he decides he wants to do. That storm forth is actually a really good fucking damn. I didn't expect a storm forth, but um, yeah, I felt comfortable with that situation because I still did have to counter trap. Now, if he would attack this, it kind of would have been a problem, but not really because I could have just special summoned Duke. Um, I still wouldn't have been able to negate, but so yeah, that actually would have been a problem if if that was the case. If he was attacking Grace, I all right, so he let it resolve. So here, what we're going to do is go into our second sucker. This is why, man, the, the Vendreds would have just been beautiful in this goddamn deck. Vendreds would have been so amazing. We're going to search us a Samurai Skull because Samurai Skull is just a fantastic card. Um, and so then here, what we can do is we can just special summon Gozuki from this and draw a free card. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just bait out his card. Uh, one of these... Oh, no, that is wonderful. Um, we're just trying to bait out the card right now. So um, I did draw into another brood. So let's go ahead and send Familiar here. Um... We're going to ditch the brood. You might as well just pay that 500 real quick. 
um draw a card i mean not draw a card but uh search for a card which is going to be scar jelay because we're going to summon that with gozuki proceed to pay the 500 just in case this man decides he wants to have anything so now what i should do is go unicorn and discard zombie uh what's the name uh, hopefully i hit the right card um, we're going to discard this and target that let's hopefully that we hit the right card all right so i believe apocalypse needs to target a that needs to target another true draco right and that's dragana diagram right so he can't use it if he wants to target a, a Drew king a draco or okay so you know what let's not even fake the funk here let's just go phoenix let's just go phoenix folks and yes i am ditching that um, Gozuki, yes. Nightmare, yes. We're gonna special summon Scar Jelay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna actually discard. Oh fuck! I don't want to discard Duke now. Uh, we'll go one, two. Uh, we're gonna banish. You already have another two suckers, correct? Um, hold on, folks. Give me a second, real quick. No, did I pause it? No. All right, folks. So uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna banish here. I think Sucker has to get banished because that is literally the only card we don't technically need in a graveyard. So we're going to banish Sucker. And then with this, I think we just get rid of Scar Jelay because we can just bring it. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of Scar Jelay. We're just, that's exactly what we're going to do here. That fucking sucks. Um, why did I get rid of Scar Jelay? Oh, I got a special summon one of these cards. Hmm. That's completely fine. Fuck, I did actually, why did I do that? I really don't know why I did that. Um, we'll just special summon Duke. We'll just special summon Duke. Um, we'll just use that effect, yeah. We'll just keep our normal summon. We because we, Vampire Grace. Um, sure, let's just pay that young 2000. Uh, one, two. Um, we're gonna send Trap to his graveyard, I guess. There we go, now he's gonna use Apocalypse. Okay, I was I was waiting on the monster. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna pop that, that's fine um we're gonna get it doesn't really matter this game is over and then he has to send another trap to his graveyard um which is fine so la la now since he's doing that and then also this this is what's very important this is this is definitely game two material so now what, what do we have in here we have brood um this is definitely game two material so now even now that he's revealing all of this stuff i know really what's counter what is that that's that should be game right that was 37 and 43 well that's a perfect game actually yeah, that was a perfect game. All right, so yes, yeah, since now he did reveal that these cards are going in. Um, I I want to play Trune just for the fuck of it. True, I mean Trune would not be good in this situation. Um, we're gonna throw in Triple Ash. Uh, I'm not gonna die first turn, so that goes in. We're gonna take those out. These two out. Call of the Grave is completely useless in this uh, situation. Book of the Life kind of is loose, useless. Um, I need six more cards to side out. All right, so we're gonna take out. Duke and Vampire. They're gonna also take out um like I said Book of Life because it's kind of useless right now. Um Red Baron is good. Froyloin is pretty good. We're gonna cut a brood. Um let me see what else do we have here. A ghost ogre is really good in this deck because we can hit the diagram. I don't think True Nade is actually that good, but a true nade and a red reboot is really fucking good, and I think I can OTK after that. So just two more. Um I don't think we need four lane for the OTK, but it can be useful. Allure is really good. You know what? Let's just take out uh, Shared Ride. Let's just keep Shared Ride out for right now. Um, but yeah, that's was another good thing. All right, there we go. We have a localized True Nade. So now if we draw Red Reboot, we can possibly, yeah, we can definitely try to game him with this. What the fuck is Deck Lockdown doing? This stops your own deck. you're an idiot like what you know let me stop because i don't know why he's playing that because you literally stop your own deck for two turns i mean he can technically pop it no no never mind it's pretty good it's just like imperial order imperial order is actually really good in draco because you can just tribute it okay well i will work with that i i still don't i still don't like it i'm going to oh i totally forgot that this card is existing yeah, so this is uh, yeah. I told y'all Trunade was bad. 
Um, alright, so we can't activate shit, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's <laughs> just surrender. That was just very bad. Yeah, look, I knew localized trinade was not good, but I was just saying, just in case... Oh, don't tell me you surrendered. Come on, man. Don't do not do that to me. Come on, bro. I surrendered immediately. Let's go. Let's get it popping. Don't do this. Oh, they're doing me dirty. Oh, that's foul. That's foul. We was having a good game, too. That's crazy. I wonder if he surrendered. I mean, quit or something. Because it's not me. I surrendered. Why is my thing still going down? I surrendered, bro. Oh, my God. All right, folks. Well, we'll, we'll give it a second. And, um... We'll just wait. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Thank God. All right. So we're going to be going first. We're going to put these back in. We're going to put that back in. We definitely got to put that back in. And a Vampire's Awake should be decent. We'll take the True Nades out because, like I said, they shouldn't have been in in the first place. I just needed something to put in. Um, red Reboot goes out. You know what? Actually, no, 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 no. I'm actually going to keep two Red Reboots in. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm at 28 monsters. That is really bad. We need to cut some monsters out of here. I'm um, going first. What do I not want? I mean, Red Baron, I don't want going first. So let's go ahead and just... Let's go ahead and see if we can get this going. All right. So we have Shared Ride. Oh, my God. This hand is fucking fantastic. We have Shared... Well, we have a lot of shit going on with this. You don't play it. Stop. <laughs> you don't play any hand traps. Um, so here, what we can do is go vampire uh sin familiar activate uh this territory territory would then activate himself um and then what i can do here is ditch the brood special summon that gets me uh what's the name uh that gets me the shadow vampire i can shadow vampire into a actually i don't want to do that i want to i want to go what's the name first I really want to go uh, fucking, what is his name? I want to go Vampire Sucker first, but I don't think that's smart. You know what? It is smart. We're going to work with it anyways. We're going to go Vampire Sucker first. I think that's just, a, it's just a better play. It really is. Um, you know, I should should shut this shared, uh, should set this shared ride, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it in my hand. Retainer's going to trigger. Um, what is Retainer going to get me? Uh, I think Domination. Yeah, I think Domination is just really good to get right now. We get the free draw. Oh my god, this hand is looking better and better by the fucking second. Um, Alright, so then what we can do here is go normal summon this to a shadow vampire. That trigger gets me a scar delay out the deck. Scar delay then triggers, giving me uh, a Mizuki. Do we need to use... Wait, I don't have any other... No, we're not going to use Grace Effect. Because this is the only target. We, this is the only target in the deck. Alright, so here, with that being said... I actually want to start sending spells to his graveyard. Yeah, let's send spells to his graveyard. I don't want him to have any type of spells. All right, so then we can do these two to go uh, deck lockdown. That's fine. All right, so then we can go summon sources, target this to get a Mizuki out. And the, yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do here. Um, so yeah, let's go summon sorceress. And then we can, oh, we didn't want to do that. Uh, target this to get a, a, go, a goblin zombie. That's what I meant to say. Get a goblin zombie. Then we can go Beatrice to send a Mizuki to the graveyard. And then we can Mizuki back. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, no, why would I want to do that? All right, so this play is going to be a little weird. We're going to have to take some life points here. We're going to take a lot of life points here. But it's, it's going to be all right. We're going to get back to where we need to get. Um... We're going to do this. We're going to send Grace. We're going to send Mizuki here, right? And then with Mizuki, we're going to bring back um, Shadow Vampire. And then we're going to pay the young 2,000 for Grace. Pay a young 2,000 for Grace. Nope. Special Summon, right? And then with Grace, we're going to send another spell because that's I don't want him with spells. That's the only way he can get his place going and started. Don't know why he kept deck locked down in. I'm supposing he doesn't have a, a, a side deck, but you're playing matches. So it's a little bit weird. Um, and we have used Unizombie, correct? But we haven't used Gozuki. So 
we're definitely good with that situation like i said we're going to be down a little bit of life points and like i said this is the problem with <laughs> this is the problem with the deck is that we need to exhaust most of our resources just to get a regular play going skull d let's see what we can do here draw four there's a go oh my god that's actually really good so we can put back one Ooh, Freud loin. Yeah, I think and no, we need domination. We need domination. But is there a way? Wow, this is fucking amazing. Um, I, th I think we have to just put back domination, to be honest with you. I think that might just have to be the thing. I think that has to be. No, 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 no. What am I talking about? No, no, we're not putting back domination. I know exactly how to. Yeah, I know exactly how to fix this whole hand. I don't know what I'm thinking just now. We're just going to grab ourselves some Mizuki. <laughs> I mean, a Gozuki. Special summon it off of this and then go, uh, what's the name? Yeah, we definitely, definitely can get out of this situation. I don't even know what I was thinking right now. Y'all was just about to let me lose. This is good. Um, we're going to send Mizuki. And we're going to use Mizuki to get the Goblin Zombie back. And then we're going to go Vampire Sucker at, uh, what's the name? And he's going to be a high attack. He's going to be 1900. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, no Gozuki. No, no. I um, don't want to use none of these as well. I mean, then here, what we can do here is add ourselves a. Uh, what do we need for next turn? Uh, I guess we can just add familiar for next turn. Okay, add familiar for next turn. And then, uh, yeah because next turn we can always just uh accomplish some stuff so there we go we'll set these two and there we go we'll end our turn so we have one negation two negation three negations and you know we have some type of di disruption so if he terraformings were good all right so that's fine um sure completely fine do we actually just stop this no yeah I, I, I want I want him to I want him to think I want him to re exhaust all of his resources before he gets to do anything to me. I want him to exhaust all of his resources. That's exactly what I want him to do. That's fine. Setting to his uh, see look, he had he, all right. So that's cool. Carter demise. Yeah, you're getting ashed. <laughs> you're exhausting all your resources, buddy. Is you not? Regeki, that's fine. Ugh, vampire's domination. You, like I said, you have to exhaust all your resources playing with me, young man. Are you done? Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. All right, let me see what he has set. Let me see if we actually could have beat him next turn. Okay. So what did he draw for? He drew. Oh, he drew a card of demise for turn. So that means he had. Oh my god, man, that was a good play. Cause I was gonna. What's the name? I was going to do that. All right. So yeah, he. He definitely, we definitely had the hand to stop him. So we negated this, this, and this. And so all he had left was this, which he couldn't, he couldn't use. And then he can use this, but he had no way to pop. Oh, that was beautiful. So we did, we could have killed him. All right, that's good. Wait, hold on timeout because, uh, what do you, uh, we don't know. Cause I sent two cards from his deck to the graveyard. So let's see what actually he drew for his turn. Because like I said, we did, uh, we, man, we played that beautiful. We played that fucking amazingly. You played that good, man. All, all, every. You see how every um, card, the, everything I did helped out. You drew into the Ash Rod because I really wasn't going to go Vampire Sucker first. Uh, you know, you get what I'm saying, folks. And then, look, sending these two to his graveyard. Let me see. What are the chances? Oh, those are. Oh, wait, he did have terraforming, huh? That's what he had. He had terraforming. No, no, no. He sent terraforming. Okay, that's what he did. He sent terraforming from his deck to the graveyard. That's what he did. All right. So what did he? Oh, it was another. Oh, he drew back the card of demise. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. He actually drew back the card of demise. That's 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 wonderful for us. Um, that is actually really wonderful for us. I mean, we yeah. I think ending on sucker was better than ending on grace because sucker we get a draw next turn and uh, yeah. I mean, I think that was pretty good. He actually drew the another. So he had Carter Demise at the beginning and then shuffled two cards and he drew a Carter Demise again and it wasn't enough to get around me. It wasn't enough. It was not enough, folks. All right, that was a good game. That was a good game. That was a fucking good game right there. See, at least I drew into these hand traps, you know? I didn't start off with, you know, all these hand traps. I drew into all of them by making key concisive plays 
and next we're drawn into another ash blossom so um yeah i think we're still gonna win yeah we're still gonna win next turn because we had all these resources actually i don't know what i was drawing because i was gonna use beatrice but yeah all right folks so we did make a couple of changes to the side deck because of what happened at ycs niagara which was thunder dragons are a really good deck so i put in my triple um forbidden chalice i decided to keep shared rides because this deck is not a gumbler deck this deck is not a deck that um basically can lock my opponent out of the game so shared ride i feel like is really good because as you've seen in that situation if you would have activated turn for me shared ride was coming out and so then he would have had to make all of those plays knowing that shared ride was in my like he knowing that i'm getting plus ones and plus ones and plus ones you know so that's why i like shared ride in decks that don't like absolutely lock your opponent out of the game now if you're playing extra link zombies i wouldn't advise shared ride definitely just play other cards to base, basically make so you can you can do your combos as much as possible no matter how much your opponent um has on the board so like stuff like book of the eclipse would actually be uh, you know wonderful and stuff like that so yeah um i probably need to play book of eclipse too but i don't know what to take out i think this is cool i think ghost veil may have to come out because i don't think this is useful now that thunder dragons are meta uh you know what let's just make that switch right now let's just make that switch and oh okay that was not supposed to happen um what did i say oh right, there we go all right so let's just make that switch right now now that thunder dragons are meta uh i mean actually no, 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 no wait what am i talking about it actually is kind of crucial it depends on their hand I, I don't know i don't like really just one thing um so for now we have three extra decks so now we can just throw in the book of eclipse because i didn't really like it at first but because every um oh that's his eye deck um every uh every uh fucking uh thunder dragon i've seen they like the ones i was seeing uh or the one in the coverage that they were having was uh they were spamming out fucking fusions and i didn't know that they were I, like every every before every deck that i've seen i mean every thunder deck i've seen um well i've only seen a couple of thunder decks but most thunder decks i've seen have only was bringing out like one or one fusion or two fusions at a time people at ycs niagara was throwing out four fusions a turn i'm like holy shit i, I that's why i didn't think book of eclipse was that good of a tech but it actually can work so anyways thank you guys for watching i will be back again um i don't have the third ash boss on my side deck i think that might hurt me but it does not matter thank you guys for watching i will be back again in a couple of hours for another match so stay tuned for that if you guys do like uh do enjoy this video like comment subscribe i will see you guys in a couple of hours so stay tuned and also click an ad or uh, donate to the channel by hitting one of them links down below